Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem deals with the simulation of a plate heat exchanger called Chevron. Heat exchangers have many industrial applications such as power plants, refineries, process industries, space industries. The present problem deals with the simulation of a plate heat exchanger called Chevron. In this model, water acts as hot and cold fluid flow in a heat exchanger. The plates between the two flows and all the walls of the heat exchanger are made of aluminium, which is responsible for the heat transfer between the cold water and the hot water flow. The purpose of the present problem is to investigate the heat transfer between two hot and cold fluids through a chevron plate located between them. The three-dimensional geometry of the present model is designed by Design Modeler software. Since the model is related to the plate type heat exchanger, it consists of two main parts. I mean hot water flow zone and cold water flow zone. The boundary between these two flow paths is determined by the separator plates or chevron. The non-conformal structured mesh of the present model is carried out by ANSYS meshing software and the element number is almost equal to uh, 640,000. By uh, the mesh display section in the general, we can display and check all the boundaries including hot inlet boundary, hot outlet, cold inlet, cold outlet. Also, all the walls around the chevron heat exchanger and also the chevron plate that has a shadow. Since we are going to investigate and study the heat transfer phenomenon in the CFT simulation for a chevron heat exchanger as a plate heat exchanger, so the energy equation should be activated. And all the walls of the uh, heat <coughs> exchanger and also the chevron plate are assumed to be aluminium as the default solid material of the full and soft. The cold inlet water temperature is equal to 283.15 degrees of Kelvin and the velocity is equal to the cold velocity. All the walls surrounding the heat exchanger, the plate heat exchanger are uh, insulated and adiabatic so the heat flux thermal condition is set for all the walls and also the heat flux is equal to zero because it's an adiabatic wall also all the walls uh, surrounding the chevron plate heat exchanger assumed to be a stationary wall and no slap finally we should set the last boundary condition in this section that is related to the plate the plate is uh, the chevron plate it's a stationary wall and no slip. We just click on the initialization button and go to the run calculation section. We set the number of iteration equal to 2500. It seems enough for the, the iteration of this CFD simulation. And after that, we just click on the calculate button to start the calculation. For this case, we are going to define a plane that is a Z constant and pass through the chevron heat exchanger and uh, it's placed on the center of the heat exchanger. So we should do the following process. We also can define and specify uh, every plane in every direction just like this issue. Also all other desired two-dimensional contours are uh, going to be obtained in this section. Uh, wall or chevron plate total surface heat flux uh, could be obtained this way. Here is the summaries of the problem definition and problem solving steps in the table as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, 
consultation and training. Contact our experts via info at signmestercfd.com. Hope you enjoy.